Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Cranium Barbecue Review. Today, I'm doing some spare ribs. Now, spare ribs are my favorite, actually. Spare ribs uh, have everything that you want. I've made, I made a video one time where I actually had ribs and pulled pork off of one rack of ribs. Cut a line along the bones here. Then after I cooked it and I, uh, and I also wrapped it, it got so tender, I was able to pull the knuckles and also the meat, meat apart. And I had a, a pulled pork and I also cut the ribs up. So you had two and one, so it was pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the membrane on this and I'll show you how to do that real quick. And then I'm going to be seasoning it up. So uh, I'm gonna get the camera down. I'm gonna get this thing, the uh, membrane removed and get it seasoned up. And I was gonna do this on my Durrell House cooker today, but it's gonna be raining all day long. So I decided to go with my Camp Chef Pro LUX pellet smoker because I can move that underneath the cover if I have to. I also have to mess with coals and everything else when it's trying to rain and then trying to move it and trying to do, do all this other stuff. I can just keep everything nice and contained inside and I can move it underneath the carport if I have to. So let's get started. Okay, so a lot of people like to remove the membrane with a knife and all this other stuff, but I've been for years have been using a just a simple spoon. All right, just a small little spoon. Uh, find one of the bones here, slide up underneath one of the bones like this. All right, lift up like that. Take yourself a paper towel. And as long as there's no nicks and stuff inside here, like over here, it should come off and just like that. Pretty simple, huh? All right, next process. I'm gonna be doing some trimming up here as well. Gonna uh, cut this off and trim a little bit of this up and uh, then we'll be ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off right here, kind of square the ribs up, uh, a little bit of fat over here. Got a patch of uh, fat right here, cut this off. Yeah, it looks about pretty good to me. Uh, you got a nice big uh, fat uh, piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on. Uh, it's just a piece of meat right here is underneath the, on top of a bed of fat, but I'm just gonna leave that there, let that render down. And uh, yeah, good to go, uh, ready to, Ready to season these things up now. Okay, so for a binder, all I'm using is just some simple water. There we go. Simple water. And I'm using another Heaven Made product, the Texas Best Rib Rub. This stuff is awesome. That's it, perfect timing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the pan. I'm gonna let it sit with the rub on there for a couple hours or maybe an hour. And uh, then I'm gonna get the, uh, the pellet smoker cranked up and hopefully I can, the rain's not gonna be too much of a, of a pain in the butt for me today. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I just fired up the pellet smoker and I'm also gonna be doing a review today. It's uh, for Jeff over at armadillopepper.com. He has a whiskey barbecue sauce. Now, here's the thing. I'm really, really critical on barbecue sauces. There's been people that have sent me barbecue sauces before and I never put them on video, okay? Uh, because they outright sucked. They were not good at all. And I wasn't gonna put y'all through that. But if Jeff wants my honest opinion about his barbecue sauces, I haven't even opened it up yet, right there. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna try it whenever I put it on the rib for the very first time. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. And I'm also critical on whiskey barbecue sauces because I have my own line and I've had my, I've developed my own whiskey and maple syrup barbecue sauce. So uh, I'm gonna be kind of comparing this to my own and see how it actually goes. 
This here I don't think has a, a maple syrup in it, but it does have tomato paste, soy sauce, and he has soy sauce in like really big letters right there. I mean, that's different. Uh, sugar, vinegar, chipotle cayenne, habanero, chilies, ginger, garlic, onion, molasses, whiskey, salt, pepper, and other stuff, and salt. Now, if y'all know Jeff over armadillo pepper, you know that he's all about like the spicy hot sauces and stuff like that. So this is probably gonna have a little bit of spice to it. Anyhow, it uh, looks like we're getting some, uh, some smoke going on here. That's a good sign. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get the ribs. I got them in the fridge, I got them nice and cold because because smoke likes cold, wet meat and it's fixed to start raining. So the rest of this filming is probably gonna be inside my garage. The Camp Chef Pro LUX set to 250 degrees. Let's get this thing, uh, get these ribs on. If you notice, the, it looks kind of wet. That's because uh, it's been sweating, which is a good thing. It's gonna help that smoke stick to it, which is gonna enhance the, uh, the ring that uh, the smoke ring that goes on it. So this is exactly kind of what you want to do. Then these other little bits I rolled inside, uh, these other little bits I cut off. I'm gonna go ahead and cook those up. I'm not gonna let those go to waste. Close the lid. Then I'll be revisiting this about every hour and I'm going to spritz it with only water. And that's it, pretty simple. All right, y'all, so it's been one hour. And uh, if you're wondering what kind of pellets I'm using, I'm using some uh, Pit Boss All Natural Barbecue Classic Pecan Hickory and Mesquite Blend. Really nice, uh, really nice uh, smell to that. Go ahead and get these things spritzed up here. Bam, there we go. Start to get a nice little, uh, like start to dry out the, the outside. Looking good. Gonna go ahead and go another hour and spritz it again. All right, so it's been two hours. It's really starting to dry up. The uh, the crust is really starting to form pretty good. Uh, still waiting to get some pullback on the ribs. There's still no pullback. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and spritz it with some more water. All right, gonna let it go another hour. All right, y'all, it has been three hours. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so uh, at the three hour mark is when a lot of people will uh, go ahead and you know they wrap it up and they put it into uh, butter, brown sugar and honey. I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm just gonna wrap this up in some butcher paper and uh, put some water in there and uh, let it go. Let's get into the butcher paper. Okay, right now I'm bending it and you see it's not bending very good. I mean, it's just way away from being done. Go ahead, I'm gonna wrap this bad boy. Uh, it got a little bit of pullback right here. Starting to pull back, that's a good sign. But uh, definitely nowhere is where you want it to be. I'm gonna go two hours on this. All right, so it's been two hours and I'm about ready to, to unwrap, take the ribs out of the paper and my pit, my pellet smoker dropped down to 132 degrees. I don't know how long it's been like that, but uh, I just went ahead and shut it off. I turned it back on. I got it turned to 275. I looked at the, uh, looked where the hopper was and looked like it had like made like a crater and it wasn't getting any pellets being fed into it. So now hopefully uh, pellets will be getting fed back into it. So let's take a look at these ribs. I might go ahead and just uh, unwrap them and just do it anyhow. No doubt, they definitely look really good. Got some pullback here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on the paper. I'm gonna go ahead and sauce this. Keep it in for about another hour. Go ahead and probe these. Yeah, I'd have to give those another hour. Jeff at Armadillo Pepper, he actually gave me uh, two bottles of the whiskey barbecue sauce and both still have the seals on them, so I have not yet tried these. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a try right now. So, uh, all right. got a little lid here and stuff here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this, a, give this a try. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it has uh, chunks of stuff in it, which looks pretty good. So I cranked the uh, pit up to 275. I'm gonna let it, let it go ahead and uh, get the 275. And I'm gonna keep these in for about an hour, hour and a half. Let this uh, barbecue sauce set on here. There you go. Gotta kinda pat it on there. All right, I'm gonna shut this, I'll be back. All right, so let's get real about this armadillo pepper whiskey barbecue sauce it's uh it's different all right it's uh it's different in a good way it's it's kind of an odd 
type of sauce. Odd, but in a good way. Pretty much, I'm gonna try to explain it the best way I can. But if y'all wanna try some of this, yeah, you can get it right there at um, armadillopepper.com. Pretty sure you can probably order some of this. So right here. That's kind of what it looks like. Now with all the stuff inside there, like all the uh, the habanero chilies, the chipotle cayenne, and stuff like that, you expect this to probably be really spicy. You see, I don't do very good with like really stuff that's like really spicy. So, but this, it's, it's different. I mean, I really can't taste that much whiskey in it, which is a good thing, which means that it's been, that the whiskey in this sauce has been reduced down very well. It's, it's smooth, it's well balanced. Here's what it tastes like. It tastes like a tomato-based barbecue sauce married to a tomatillo salsa, and it kind of got together. It doesn't really have really like, like too much of a spice. It's just different, y'all. You gotta, I mean, just, you just gotta, have to, just gotta try it for yourself. I mean, it's definitely not bad. I mean, it's, it's good, but it's definitely, it's definitely not bad. It's definitely different. It's, it's definitely a barbecue sauce unlike something I've ever had before. Now, I have a whiskey maple syrup barbecue sauce that I was going to produce a long time ago. I still might go ahead and do it. I did a video and only very few people have the recipe. I did a video on it when I first started my channel. Jeff, man, look. I think that you're onto something. How you managed to do, make a barbecue, uh, uh, a tomato-based barbecue sauce meets a tomatillo salsa and crash them together. That's exactly what it tastes like. So anyhow, finishing up these ribs, gonna go check on them. I think I've got like another half hour left. Yeah, I got like another half hour left and then these things should be done. Went to go move these to see how tender they were and well that just comes right off. So, so yeah, so these are these are officially done. I'm gonna let these uh put these in the pan, I'm gonna let them rest, and that's that's it. My bones are coming out. That's how my wife likes them. My wife likes them, pretty much fall off the bone. I don't think they are fall off the bone. I think just that one spot was uh was pretty bad, and then these bones here kind of come off. But yeah, I think they're gonna be pretty good. Just gonna cover these up and let them rest. All right, just keep them right there. Let them rest for a little bit. All right, so it's been about eh, about 15 minutes. I think the flies want to have some of this too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Our spare ribs, not the best. I love these. Taste test time. Okay, so one thing I've learned through these years is that barbecue sauce, it may taste one way just by itself, but on the meat and when it cooks in, com tastes completely different. Here's that uh, spare rib. Now, what I love about spare ribs is that there's a lot more meat on these. Plus, you also have the knuckles down here. But what I like to do, like I said earlier, is I like to like cut all this off, make them cook them like really, really well done to where it just all just shreds apart. So uh, let's give this a shot. The bone comes cleanly out. See how I many all might say it's overcooked, but I don't care. That sauce is definitely a, definitely a hit when it uh, cooks into the meat. Anyhow, Jeff, hey man, I appreciate you sending me that sauce. Who you got a winner there? You wanna try out Jeff's barbecue sauce? Like I said, it's kinda like a tomato-based barbecue sauce meets a tomatillo salsa, and it kinda get together there. Anyhow, uh, like, ooh, I don't know if I got stuff all over my face or not. Anyhow, like, subscribe, I'll see you next week.